what we have here is an Arduino Nano set up on a little PCB used to program a new AT Mega chip for an Arduino, putting the bootloader on it. What I've done is I've taken an eight, uh, Arduino Nano and this handy little PCB from Adafruit prototyping breadboard actually. I've used PCB headers, cut them down to size, mounted them on the board, and hooked up the wires accordingly. Now all the information to do all this stuff came from a website called Let's Make Robots. There's a, 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 a user on there who has uh, laid all this out and done a very good job of it. I'm just showing you how to uh, put it all together. This is the uh, ICSP in circuit serial programming plug on the Arduino indicating pin 1 and where the wires go digital 12, digital 13, digital, digital 10 VCC, digital 11 and ground hooked up with a nice little pigtail into a header plug you notice the uh, the white heat shrink right there that indicates pin 1 that lines up with this little dot right here indicating pin 1 on the IC ICSP All right, to get started using this we're going to go and we're going to load our Arduino program now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to examples and I'm going to load Arduino as an ISP this gives you the information all right here of what pen does what I am going to upload this to my Arduino Nano so I select Arduino Nano with a 328, 80 mega 328. And then I'm going to tell it that it's on serial port COM6. That's how I just happen to have mine set up. Okay. Then we're going to upload. Once that is complete, Always make sure to unplug first. We're going to get our chip seated in the socket, orientated in the right direction. You'll see right here the indention on the socket and the pin one marking on the chip. Okay, once everything's all together, we're going to get plugged in. And then the first time that you put this thing together, if you see your little LEDs here acting dim, acting funny, immediately unplug it. Try not to do any damage to your Arduino Nano. These things can get a little on the pricey side. Thank you. 
I'm going to go back into tools. And now, to program it to the Arduino Uno, the bootloader to the Arduino Uno, we are going to select the Uno. The serial port is still going to stay the same as for the AT Mega because that's where it's going through. We're going to tell it programming Arduino with a, as an ISP. Make sure that we keep that selected. Then we're going to say burn the bootloader. Now this might take a few seconds. Now if you come up with this error right here I can't really see it but it says uh, error while burning bootloader um, not in sync from AVR dude not in sync now if this is the very first time that you're using this check to make sure all your wires are, are connected to the right places on the connector that will be the number one cause for causing for, for problems once you're sure that that has been done correctly then we're going to go up here and we are going to make another attempt to burn the bootloader and you can see now is going. It takes a few seconds. You can see the, the transmit LEDs are blinking at a slower rate than normal. It goes a little bit slower when burning the bootloader. Now, this thing said you can't see it because of all this doggone glare. But it says done burning the bootloader. When everything is done, we can unplug the nano, removing power, unplug, I'm going to plug this guy here in, select my program, I'm going to put, I'm going to put um, uh, the blink example on here just to test, just to make sure that everything uh, came out right. So I'm going to load that up, we can see our LEDs blink there for a minute. It's a very short program, loads very quickly. And everything, the program is running. So we know we were successful at loading the bootloader. That's all it is to it. That is how you burn the bootloader using an Arduino Nano. And this is just a handy little piece I just threw together, uh, mostly out of necessity. Hope you enjoyed it.